40 days and 40 nights. That ain't no vacation cruise. Man, here I am left cleaning up this damn ark and getting it unloaded after all that time. Me left with the dirty work. And where are all the men? Well, they're all out chasing some damn dove with an olive branch in his mouth and covenanting with some god of theirs. And why in the world would they have to take, what, what was it? Oh, a score of skins of wine and all that animal meat on the hoof. That doesn't sound like no covenant. That sounds like a damn party. <sighs> and here I am. Just me. Just Noah's wife. Not even a name. I don't even have the grace of a name. But I, here I am. Almost dried out, but not quite. A no-name person. You know, my sons have names, and oh, jeez. That Noah. The names he gave those guys. Shem, Ham, Jap Japheth, Japheth. What the heck was that? My grandsons have names. Same thing. Oh, Gomer. Gomer. That was me. Magog, Madai, Javon, Tubal, Mesek, Taras, Cush. Sounds like a damn singer's name, Cush. <laughs> Misram, Put, Canaan, Alam. Okay, the guys, they're, they're pretty fruitful, you know, in that whole way. But me, I don't have a name. Just know his wife. You to think that all I had was boy children. None of my girls have no names. And none of my grandbaby girls have any names either. I don't just don't know what's up with that. Oh man, if I had a chance, I would tell people what was really behind that story, 40 days and 40 nights. Damn quote. I'd set that record straight. So everybody's got me pegged as a hen pecker and a shrew. Man, they laughed like hell when I would not get on that damn ark. Gave me a razz and a half. But that wasn't a bit funny, because I knew what I was going to be in for. Yeah, and here I am on the back end of it, hip deep in animal shat. <laughs> so what do you think? Why would Noah want me on the ark so bad? Because he loved me? <laughs> no, 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 no. That, that, that man never had any love for me. No, 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 no. No siree. He wanted me on that ark because, oh, how did he say that? I wrote it down because I was so pissed. <laughs> Woman, you're going to be the one going to look after all them animals. You're going to be the one to clean their shit. Feed their mouths, tend their litters, nurse their sick. What do you think Noah's going to do? He's going to stand up there and boss people around, navigate the ship, tell everybody, God told me to do this. And you have to do what God tells me to tell you to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, animals, two of every kind. The boys, the grandbabies. Well, at least the boys, some of them had wives, and oh, you no, know, they, they didn't have names either. I think I may have told you that. Oh. So, oh, in addition to the animals and the cleaning inside, keeping that art clean. Oh, my goodness gracious. Big as a houseboat. What was it? 30 cubits by 50 cubits by 30 cubits. Oh my God, big as a football field, three stories tall. Cleaning that thing from bottom to top. Oh. And me being in a constant state of pregnancy. <laughs> <sighs> and no pay, no credit, nothing. Not even a footnote. You think I'm bitter? Nah. And to read the Bible, you would think that all that stuff happened, all that begatting and whatnot, was all that man Noah's fault. Yeah, no help at all. And it ain't so. No, you got to get those 
Big cats off the other side. They're going to eat them monkeys. <laughs> well, the worst part is that covenant, yeah, that God made it with them men and them sacks of wine and that barbecue going on. And here I am. Got to find a damn bone. <laughs> As you all know, Jana is a very good uh, speaker. She always does great presentation and being her evaluator and this being my first evaluator ever, it's uh, a little uh, stressful, <laughs> let's say. <laughs> but Jana, you did an excellent job. Um, I, have, I have to answer a few questions. One of the questions that um, said, was the character clearly defined by the speaker? Um, yes, Jenna, you did a great job. Uh, you had a, an effort doing this monodrama, which I know isn't easy. Um, however, there are a few things I can recommend. Uh, the first one, in my case, um, I, I think, how can I say it? There were a few words during your speech. Um, my, my first language, as you all know, is not English. And were, I didn't catch some of the words. I thought there, you have a, a level that is advanced, and then probably not too advanced. And it was like, okay, I wish I could uh, have a speech that is very clear for everyone and if you if after this evaluation you let me go through your notes I can try to catch up because because I didn't catch up those a few words that I noticed oh I don't know the meaning of this word and another another thing about the character is um, I wish I know you were talking about a woman and how woman um, like in, in the Bible and the art, you you have to obey what the man tells you, and but I wish I could know or imagine the woman you're talking about by describing the physical characteristics of of the woman, like if you're a woman with um, long black hair, even though you have short hair and blonde hair. I want to imagine how the, the cart, character looks like. Um, did the speaker ex effectively express the conflict? Yes, uh, Jana explained the story of a, of a woman dissatisfied because she has to do the hard work. Um, you did a great job. And um, your voice, gestures, body movement were excellent. Um, your A contact was great as well. And, and overall, I think you did an excellent job. Thanks, Jenny.